Go. Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. I want to talk to you about Chapter 3 in my book, which is titled Getting Your MBA, Massive Bank Account. A little bit different than what you know as the meaning of MBA. But I think getting a massive bank account is important because it is your reward for providing value, for solving problems, for helping people. That's all that sales really is. So let's talk about some ways that you can get an MBA. First of all, education equals motivation. And I really believe the more that you self-educate yourself, the better off that you're going to be because you're going to be more knowledgeable, more educated, more motivated, and you'll be able to impart knowledge. I know when I'm following my daily education plan that I am always more focused. I am always more motivated. And I come up with ideas from something I've read, I've listened to, or seminars that I've went to. And I'm able to think of different ways that I can impart that knowledge, not only into my business, but into my customer's business. Whenever you read the paper, try to think of, if you're looking at a headline or a story, how would this play into something that I could do for a customer or for my own business? In other words, don't just read the news for the news, but how would this apply? How could you use this headline in marketing or advertising? I think that education is the most important thing you, you could do. I have not found one successful person in business that is not massively self-educated. Uh, I want you to think of what I call TLC, think like a customer. Whenever you're educating yourself, there are always things that you can do for your customer that will help solve their problem. Always be thinking, what can I do to improve their lives? What can I do without asking for anything in return about what I can do for them that will make their lives easier? If you think in that regard, if you're willing to give without expecting to receive, you're going to find that you're going to do better in your sales. It's not about just selling something or closing something. It's about taking possibilities and putting them into action to solve problems. That's what selling really is. The derivative of the word sell means to serve. The actual root meaning of the word means to serve. Uh, I always believe that reading is one of the most powerful things, empowering things you can do. Read is the root of ready, and uh, readers are leaders. There's just no doubt about it. I, what I try to do as a goal every year is to read anywhere between 75 to 100 books a year, and that sounds like an awful amount of books, a lot. But the reality is, if you set it down that you're going to read X amount of minutes per day, you'll be amazed at how much more you'll read even than that. You'll be amazed at how many books you can complete, but how much knowledge. And the more that that seeps into your, your conscious and subconscious brain, it will come out of you when you least expect it. You'll find yourself utilizing that information even if you had not put it down that you were going to try to use it, it will come out. Um, I, I invite you to look at different modalities. We all learn differently and, and we have best ways that we learn by. Yours may be by listening, so you want to listen to CDs on the way to and from work. Maybe you're a visual person and you want to watch a DVD that will educate yourself. Maybe you like going to a seminar because kinesthetically you can interact with others. I think you need to mix them all. Get as many modalities going as you possibly can, and whether it's 15 minutes a day, a half hour a day, or like myself, an hour a day, self-educate yourself to make yourself better. You see, this is all part of preparation. I used to do TV shows that were education shows, and I would tape as many as 25 to 35 shows at a time, and many of these were 25, 30 minute shows. And I often could do a full two days of taping without having to use a teleprompter. And the reason that I could do that was because I had sat down and wrote what I wanted to do and wrote it out in detail. And then I would tape it, and then I would videotape it, and I would play it back, and I would rehearse it. And it would get to the point that it would just be a part of my brain. And so if I just took a deep breath, I knew that that information was so solid in my brain that it would allow itself to come out. It's all about 
preparation. What are you willing to do to be prepared when you get in front of a customer? If you have four, five, six common objections that are the objections you get over and over and over, have you written them down? Have you written down what you can do to overcome those objections or help solve somebody's problem where you're not getting in the same rut over and over and over? They say that a rut is nothing more than the grave with the ends kicked out. If you're repeating the same behavior, that's just insanity. So try to write down what is occurring that stalls you and then if you don't have the answer, reach out to others or go on the internet, read a book, listen to CDs, go to a seminar, find out how to solve where you're reaching your roadblock. I think you got to look at what's called HFG, hope for gain. Sometimes when you're in a selling process in business, you're thinking about yourself, you're thinking about your commission. It's common, everybody does that. Be less selfish. HFG, hope for gain. What would give your customer hope for gain? And when you come up with that, you're going to find that your customers begin to buy from you rather than you feeling like you've got to sell to them. I will also invite you to think about joining a mastermind circle or two or three. There are local networking groups. There are people in your industry. There are people you can get with outside of your industry, and that's good as well because sometimes we tend to use the same ideas over and over and over. I find some of my best ideas are outside of my own industries that I'm tending to work with. I also invite you to be what I'm known as, and that's the contrarian. Opposite, different, unique. If everybody in the industry is doing this, I really, really invite you to look at what this would be. Generally, if everybody is doing this, you're not going to stand out, and it's probably not working well for them. But if you do this, you could become a category of one and your brand and your value of your brand raises because it's an apples to oranges comparison. And when you're doing apples to apples, if all things are equal, then price becomes the final determinant in whatever product or good or service that you're selling. I would invite you to look at being apples to oranges, being contrarian. I invite you to also look and follow the best. Who's the best of the best of the best? And then study them. Success leaves clues. All of this is what I mean by MBA, getting your massive bank account. The late, great Jim Rohn, who was a mentor of mine, he had a fantastic quote that I use quite often. Jim said that a college education can get you a job, but self-education can make you rich. I'm Mark Tewart. I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. If you would like to get the first chapter of this book for free and several free bonuses, I invite you to go to superstarbookvideo.com. Thanks a lot and great selling.